There's been a dramatic shift in COVID guidance from the CDC with Omicron raging and workforces depleting. The agency has shortened the recommended time for isolation after getting COVID from 10 days to five as long as people don't have symptoms. Joining us now to talk more about the new guidance from the CDC is Dr. Timothy Quinn of Quinn Family Healthcare in Ridgeland. Dr. Quinn, good morning and thank you so much. Dr. Thank Quinn, you. tell us, the CDC has shortened both the isolation and quarantine time for people who test positive for COVID without any symptoms. What has caused this change in direction? You know, Jay, this is causing quite a stir. A lot of people are very concerned. I actually got some phone calls last night. A few of my patients saw some reports on different networks about the decrease in the number of days an individual that's contracted COVID-19 can come back to work. And they're saying, Dr. Quinn, is that safe? What are they doing? But the bottom line is the CDC and the other organizations that are assisting in making these recommendations, they're following the science. And the science is revealing that a person that contracts COVID-19, especially this new Omicron variant, which is the most prevalent right now in the United States and in the world, they're more infectious early on in the in the infection process, meaning that if you contract it and you start to develop symptoms, the science is showing that you're more infectious the first two days, even before you start showing symptoms and maybe the next two days after you start symptoms, but at about day five, the probability that you're going to spread it to others is so much lower. And what they determined is you can go back to work if you don't have symptoms, you don't have fever, and wear a mask for five days. And that way they can keep the economy going, keep the hospitals staffed, keep the airlines going, the sports teams, and just keep this country running because we really need all the support right now, especially from our uh, people that are so essential to keep this country going. And we know that Omicron is now the dominant strain in the U.S., but this strain appears to be milder than Delta, but much more contagious. What can you tell us about Omicron? Well, well, basically, Omicron is more contagious, and it has a lot to do with that spike protein, those those multiple mutations of that spike protein that allows this, this particular strain to attach on to human cells and get in much more effectively than the previous strains, such as Delta. That's why it's spreading so fast. But the good news is, overall, people that contract the Omicron variant tend to be less sick, which is very good because there, there's less of a probability that we'll lose our life, but we have to understand that this can be a disadvantage as well because sometimes people may have it and not know it because the symptoms are just so mild. So if you're starting to have some runny nose or cough or, or just, just very mild symptoms, go ahead and get tested if you can, and that way you can decrease the probability that you'll spread it to others. And we have seen Omicron evade the vaccine. How, how much should those who were vaccinated and boosted be concerned that they might catch the new variant? We should all be concerned because this is a scenario called a breakthrough infection. You've gotten your vaccinations. You've gotten your booster. You've done everything you're supposed to in regards to your vaccination status, and you can still get an infection. But the, what we have to understand is you didn't get it for nothing because somebody was like, Dr. Quinn, why even get vaccinated? You're going to still have the possibility of getting infected. The science has overwhelmingly demonstrated if you get your vaccines, if you get your booster, if you do have that breakthrough infection, there's so small of a chance that you'll get severely ill, end up in the ICU and or lose your life. So still get those vaccinations. It can save your life. And again, Dr. Quinn, those who are hesitant to get vaccinated, what do you say to them as we go through yet another wave of this virus here in Mississippi? I just reiterate the facts. If you get vaccinated, you can still get a breakthrough infection, but you have that protection of those vaccines, those antibodies in your body. So if you do get an infection, you can now fight it much more effectively. And, and I repeat, it can save your life. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Quinn, for waking up early with us and have a happy new year.